Gain's pretty good. Gain's good? Both in the microphone and in the gym. I use Tide sometimes. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome to another installment of the 5 o'clock reboot, where we will be starting your week off right. Correctly. Correctly. In a dubitable form. This is 41? 41. 41. 41. Episode 41. And we're starting at 11.44. Holy shit. <laughs> that is an excellent time indeed. A most wonderful time. By yeah. the grace and the might of the Lord. Mm. Today, a lot of things happen between the most of us. Fuck ton happened this week, dude. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. It's been a good week. Really, really solid week. I think it's a week we should drink to. I think it is a week we should drink to. Now, do you want to know what you're drinking? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'll tell you a little bit about it. Okay, so this week we are drinking Sugarlands Shine. Uh, it is Mark and Digger's Rye Apple, uh, which is an 80 proof moonshine. Uh, it's it's really good. It's really good. It, it's uh, it's a rye moonshine with apple like flavoring. It's really busting. Like the apple's not overpowering, based from my you know, prior experiences. Now, my prior experiences are a little biased because I would usually get so drunk that anything tasted good. You know what I'm saying? I get very nervous about moonshine in general, but rye moonshine. That's where I get really nervous. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, without further ado. Oh, yeah? Oh, bro. Without further ado, adieu. I think I'm gonna go ahead and crack this bad boy open. We've got our special guest, Spencer, over here. Yes. <laughs> I turned up the game just so that you could hear him. Hi. Make sure my game is still. Uh, it's still too high. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> he said, You want to die, boy? <laughs> Woo! It's going to be <sighs> It's going to be a good episode. It's going to be a good episode. <laughs> so, do you want do you want do you want to start off the, talk, the good talks about the good things that we've done this week um, while I pour this shot. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll toast to it. So, you you may start with your your news, because yours is significantly, significantly more important than mine. Okay, so, um, everybody, um, So, I, um, I don't have a girlfriend anymore. Um, Which is great. Yeah, no, it's really fucking sick, dude. Uh, because, uh, I took an arrow to the knee and I proposed and she said yes. So, uh, she's not my girlfriend anymore. She's my fiance with an extra E. Fiance. So. We're good. Would have been Hoorah. really awkward <laughs> if she said no. And she's like, mm. the, the way you snore at night, I don't think. Dude, that would have been absolutely horrible because you want to know the day that I proposed mm. was the day before our five year anniversary. That would have been, that would have been really awkward. You know, this last. After all the times we've been together. This last week was jam packed. I'm so sorry, Dad. I think, burn up, burn up. I think I got a drip. He got a drip. 
then my news is significantly less important, but big for me. It's, it's big news. Not really, compared to literally fulfilling your future. Uh, so, uh, Zach, our good buddy. Yes. Has been working at my job for long enough, and he, whenever you work there for a certain amount of time, the guy who got you hired gets an incentive pay. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. So I got like 800 something bucks for him being hired. That money immediately went to paying for uh, a new motor for my convertible so that my convertible now operates. Yeah, now it converts. Now it converts into a table. Uh, and I officially have new LED headlights. Fuck yeah. Which is excellent. Yeah, that visibility, dude. Yeah, I mean, my, my headlights originally were just fucking... Because they were stock, so they're not terrible, but they were fogged over. They were not taken care of, which is very much my fault. But the issue with it was, was that my left side, my left side, my left side was sheared because got kind of grappled onto that whole thing, took a bumper with it. It's fine. Uh, so sheared off my headlight. So uh, I got new headlights. Well, dude, congratulations for real. Yeah. And then I also um, went to uh, went to lunch with my mom. She it was her forty eighth birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthing day! Happy birthing day! And I had to wrestle her for the check. Yeah, but I hit the gym more than she does, so I won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, guys. Here's to the big fucking week. Oh, oh God. Uh, Watch it. Uh. That is forcing me to salivate. Not bad. You know, that's way more aptly than I remember. It's not bad, but that is, that is forcing me to salivate right now. You know, as soon as it touched. Like, I, I didn't even try to take the shot. Like, I got it in my mouth and I was like, my oh, body was like, I know what you're thinking. Do not. I was like, fuck you. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ugh. It's not bad. The flavor is actually really good. It's, you know, it's better than the vodka, but you know, I. I mean, you gotta think. This isn't like a apple flavored moonshine, like it's a moonshine flavored with apple. Yeah, that's like that's what they're like. They don't even try to market it as like, oh, it's an apple juice. They're like, no, this is well, rye moonshine with some apple. Yeah, so like I noticed that whenever you were showing it off, like it doesn't have an apple color because you know how like it gets pulpy or apple juice it turns like brown yeah so i was like what is this so it tastes is, was it is it like green apple or something or just apple it is um i mean obviously you know you work in or you have worked in manufacturing mm. um it is a flavoring yeah right uh it is a and it's a red apple flavoring but it's flavoring not bad. No, I enjoy it. Not my top 10 or my top 50. But not bad. But not bad. Yeah, no, like this was one of my favorite like moonshine flavor. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because like you can't put this in the same like category as like, For example, if you're going with Sugarland, you can't put this in the same category as their like Blackberry, right, or something like that, you know, or because like this is this is a rye moonshine, so it's like it's a different makeup altogether. Fun, but uh, do you want to give that uh, Coke a try? That this is where now you like you know how you were like oh you know it's not bad on its own yeah this is where it fucking excels. Ooh. 
because you get, if I'm not mistaken, last time I had this, you get like the rye, so it's kind of like a whiskey and coke type deal. Mm. You get like the rye punch, but the apple holds hands with the coke. Then why are you talking about it? I'm just letting you know. Why are you talking? Pour the shot, Wilson. (laughs) I'm just so fucking excited because I've not had this in so fucking long. But yeah, a lot of big stuff's happening. That's why you celebrate every small instance because you never know whenever the world's just going to F you in the A. Ooh. It. I haven't eaten very much, so it is hitting almost immediately. It's okay, though. I don't have anywhere to go today. We were, uh, we were comparing notes as well for uh, our gym times, too. Uh, we are f- now heading into advanced movement. Uh, my shoulders, by God, have been rounded out. I haven't showed you, but I have a lot more muscle definition. I was actually physically visible, correct term being visibly different than uh, my family last saw me. They actually noticed the difference, and I was like, "Yeah!" I was like, "Look at me go, boys!" Yeah, we're 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 jogging along, and then uh, we're doing Secret Santa this year for Christmas. Halloween comes first, though. We're spooky boys up in this bit. Yeah. Ooh. Uh-oh. Bless you. Yeah, you blast those zombies, boy. The Wunderwaffer. The wonderful waffle. A Wunder. The Wunderwaffer. Wunderwaffel. Now, as we as you said, I agree. I just had my mic muted so I couldn't talk. We gotta celebrate, bro. This is a celebration fucking day. That is an interesting flavor. Like I said, bro, you get that rye in there. But the rye is good. And then... Let it sit. And you start picking up on that apple along with that Coke. Yeah. Dude, shit bus. Um, so, may I tell a story? No. Okay. <laughs> I know you're fucking. Maybe. As if that's like not the entirety of the purpose of this podcast is just for us to tell stories. So, my fiance is impossible to surprise. Now, here, let, let me trust me. So, a few weeks ago, several weeks ago now, she and I were going to Knoxville, and I'd been looking online, like ring shopping, you know, shit like that, and being like, I think. I like this place, and here's a few things, you know, just in case this one place that we're going may have. You know what I mean? Now, I was not going to go shopping with her. No, 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 no. None of that. So, we go to we go to the mall. And I'm like, all right, you know, here we go. And I'm like, I think I'm going to get the ring today. But before we left, she was like, hey, you know, she was like, how are you going to get this ring without me knowing? And I said, I'm... I'm a genius. She said, no. She said, you're not slick. I said, oh, I ain't slick, Emma. Just you wait and see. So, we get to the mall. 
And I'm like, I got to find a store that she's going to spend copious amounts of time in. And uh, went to this, I think it was like H&M. And I said, oh, shit. I got a shit, like, bad. <laughs> like, it's not asking. But, like, you can't do that as soon as you walk in. You know right. what I mean? You, 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 have to, you have to case the joint before you rob it. Well, I mean, it's not, I mean, yeah. But, like, you can't just walk in and be like, da, 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 you know, because, like, she and I ate the same thing that day. If it's not hitting her, she's going to be like, something's kind of fucked. You know what I mean? So, I'm walking around, I'm like, Ugh. tell me. You know, I wasn't saying shit like that, obviously, but, you know, I was like, kind of making. That would have been more believable. <laughs> My tummy. My tummy. But, like, I was making, I was like, kind of like. You know, and like we'll walk around in there for a second. And I'm like, are you going to be in here for a minute? She said, why? I said, because I'm about to shit my brains out. And she said, oh, God. And I said, is the only bathroom near the food court? She said, I think. So I said, all right. And I like ran out of there doing a tight butt trot. You know, like <laughs> tight freaking, butt trot. <laughs> and I round a corner and then I like poke my head back out to make sure she's not watching. And then as soon as I'm like, she's not watching, I bust ass. To this like ring shop and i'm like okay here we go and i was like i know what i'm looking for i know what i'm looking for i'm not gonna take no shit from nobody right now i this is i'm in a hurry so i run in there and this guy comes up and he's like it's a request for live we're just gonna let it roll uh, but uh you know the guy's like hey is there anything i can help you find and i said mm -mm, that one and he was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, my friend, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I am on a secret operation right now. Like, the, like nobody nobody knows I'm here. And I am in a hurry because she is in another shop in this place. I said, that is the one. I will be paying in full today. And he's like, oh, okay, uh, is there any other? I said, no, sir, that one right there. Give you it. Know. So he gets it out and he rings it up and stuff. Rings it up? Yeah. <laughs> ring it up ah. and um i get it and everything and then i was like oh fuck because after the mall we were planning on going to token like this bar that's in knoxville uh and i was like i'm gonna have to walk around all day with this ring in my pocket and then i got to thinking about it and i was like oh fuck what if she decided to go to the bathroom and wait on me after she gets out of h&m so i bust ass into the bathroom and like you know act like i'm shitting as if she would come in, as if she would be able to like get in there. You, and stuff. you were making a plausible story. Yeah. So like I'm in there, I'm like, oh fuck, and I take a picture of the ring and stuff, and I'm like, Haha, she'll never find it. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, let me text her. I said, are you are you outside the bathroom? She said, no, I'm I'm waiting outside the store. And I said, okay. And I was like, I'll check the time. And I said, oh my god, because like I'd been gone for like 15 minutes. Average shitting time. Usually. But, like, in public, I cut that down if oh, I yeah. can, you know? Um, so I was like, mm. just in case, like, to throw her off the scent, because she and I, like, smoke cigars every now and then. I see her, like, sitting in this place outside the H&M, and right before you get to that place, there's a little place you can dip off to the side, and there's a cigar shop in the mall. Yeah. So I run in there and, like, do a quick little peruse, and I get a couple, like, fatties. Some stogies. Yeah, like... I think one of them was, uh, like, a sp I had a spice rum flavor, and the other one was a uh, cognac or something like that. No, brandy. Uh, and I get I get the cigars, and I go I, I go over, and I'm like, hey, I got a surprise for you. I was like, I got us some cigars. And that completely threw her off the scent, bro, because she, she was like, I was wondering why you were gone so long. And I was like, oh, fuck. Woo. You want to know a fun fact about rings? Uh -huh. When you get them, you know what size they're in? Mm. Seven. That's about the size of a dog's asshole, bro. Like, like size seven is a tiny finger. I ain't no tiny guy. And Madison, like, you know, like, she doesn't wear a size seven ring. Just, that's all that it. And uh, I was like, oh, my God. I have to bring this back to get it resized. Uh-oh. How am I going to do that? Because, like, I was able to make it one trip without her finding out. How am I going to make a trip back up here with the ring with her? So then I had this brilliant idea. 
what if she's just not there? So a couple friends from work were like, hey, you know, I want to check out Token. And I talked to Madison about it, and I was like, hey, I think, you know, I'm going to take him out there. You want to go? She was like, well, I, you know, I got some stuff I think I'm going to try to do. I said, okay. So I snuck and got, <laughs> I was like, all right. So I snuck and got the ring. Uh, I hid it at my mom's house. Uh, I snuck and got the ring, ran it up there, and uh, drop it off. Okay, so there's trip two to Knoxville without her knowing that I have the ring. Then I go to Token, everything's fine. And I wait a week. And a week goes by and I get a text. And they're like, hey, your ring's back. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't think about this part. Now how am I going to go back? Yeah. Then I thought about it and I was like, she works mornings and I'm off during the week. I'm going to make a trip up there. But I can't just like say, hey, I'm going to Knoxville for no reason. You know, by myself. So, our good buddy Joseph, you know, he's in town um, for a while now. And I was like, okay. I know what I'm going to do. So, I I got a hold of him. I said, hey, would you want to make a trip to Knoxville with me to go pick up a ring? He was like, hell yeah, dude. He was like, I ain't got nothing going on. Now, he'd been coming over and we'd been watching like anime. I'd been showing him Rising of the Shield Hero. Raftalia. And Raftalia. Raftalia. Um... So we get there, I turn off my location, we go pick up the ring, come back, and Madison had texted me. She was like, hey, why, why is your location off? And I was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I said, she, you know, in my head, I was like, she thinks she's going to catch me. And I was like, oh, that's weird. I, I don't know. She said, oh, well, what'd you do today? I said, oh, Joseph came over and we watched anime all day. Like, I didn't leave the house not once. And she was like, are you serious? I said, yeah. Like, it was one of the greatest days off I've had in a long time. <laughs> and she was like, you're never going to get that ring, are you? And I was like, I am. I am. Trust me. So she still didn't think I had it. I had to, I made three whole ass trips an hour three away. Three fucking trips. An hour away. And she had no clue. Oh, yeah. And she comes at me with the, you ain't slick. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, uh, Spotify listeners. I was saying that to my phone. It keeps vibrating. Oh, man. But uh, long and short, I did that. I picked that up a couple weeks ago. And uh, this past Tuesday, uh, I had talked to her friend, organized it like three or four days in advance. Uh trip out to Sevierville, you know, because right now, Sevierville is like lit up at night, like the main strip. It's it's cute as pie. And I was like, hey, I'm not going to be able to take you out at night and all this other stuff. Now, here's where it gets a little crappy, because she had a hair appointment. And I don't know if you know this, but sometimes hair appointments last for hours. Yep. I was unaware of this. You know, she was like, it may be like a while. And I was like, oh, she's just overestimating. So I had her friend meet me in Sevierville at six. And her hair appointment lasted till nine. Fuck. I was just chilling out in my car, you know, hanging out with her friend. For like three hours in Sevierville. <laughs> and she finally gets there and it's dark. And I'm like, oh, this is perfect. So, we, you know, I'm walking. I've got her friend like hid out in some bushes near this gazebo. And uh, we're walking. You know, and she is just gorgeous. I mean, absolutely just mm, stunning. But we're walking, and then we turn left, and we start walking down, and I'm like, let's go check out the gazebo, you know? Like, I don't know what the lights are looking like over there. Uh, and the landscaping is looking really pretty there, too, because they got a lot of flowers and stuff. And also, the butterfly mural in Sevierville, fun fact, if you're ever looking for it, is over by the gazebo. Uh, Which gazebo? It's just called the gazebo in Sevierville. It's like, it's on Bruce Street. It's right, like the downtown Sevierville, where the courthouse is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like right across from the courthouse. That's where I thought it was. <clears throat> but we're walking, and who do I see? Right across from the gazebo, there's this restaurant called the Appalachian. Out of all of the nights, 
out of all of the times of the day, literally out of every other circumstance, I see the Sugarland sales team standing outside. And I was like, fuck. Because like we were trying to do it like with nobody there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was like, oh. I was like, I can't just not say hi. When you could have. I could have, but that would have made me, you know, like they would have understood Obviously, like, after, every, you know, everything would happen. But they would have been like, Alex didn't say hi. That's very unusual. You know what I mean? Because, like, they were outside, like, right there. And there was nobody else, like, in on the street. So, I'm like, hey, how you doing? And they're like, oh, my God, Alex. And I was like, that? yeah, it's good to see you, all this other stuff. You know, uh, one of the guys was like, you take good care of that lady. And I was like, you don't even know. I'm about to ruin this boy's whole career. You don't even fucking know. So, <clears throat> now here's where I realize that Madison may have gotten wise. We get over to the gazebo, because I was like, hey, you want to go check out the butterfly mural? And we get in there, and I'll look around, and I'm like, hey, can I talk to you for a second? And she says, not in front of them. And I said, ah, she knows. But I was like, ah. I was like, we're in it, we're in it. Fuck it, we're in it. Well, fuck it, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fucking thing sucks. So we, <laughs> we <laughs> I wish that I could, I could go back and edit memories. You know what I mean? Kind of like those Black Ops clips. You know what I'm saying? Or not Black, the Call of Duty clips. You know, where like they'll get a kill and they'll be like fucking, <laughs> and the puffer fish, the fucking, oh. <laughs> but anyway, we go over there and take pictures in front of the butterfly mural, and we get back to the gazebo, and. I say some things, and I drop to the knee, and I ask the question, and uh, she says yes, and then I hear her friend fucking, ah! and I was like, oh, by the way, your friend's here. Like, she didn't see her hid in the bushes, and like, they're freaking out for a second, and then some of the sales team caught wind of what was going on, and decided to hide out in their truck, and they got literally the best video of this thing happening. I need this video. I'm not even kidding you, bro. Like, so basically, whenever they were uh, walking back to their truck, they saw Madison's friend hiding in the bushes. And they're like, what's Are going on? Like, get that, jumped? <laughs> Esther, what's going on? And she's like, Alex is going to propose. And they're like, oh my God. So instead of leaving, they just get in the truck and hide. You know, and I thought they were gone. This shit, dead ass, looks like it was planned. Like, the angle that they got looks like they were placed there, but they most definitely were not. I require this video. The world must see this. I'm going to show it to you here. What are the odds, right, that they would be number one, that they would even be there? Also, what are the odds that their parking spot would have the best angle, the best angle for that? Like I placed her friend like in this bush, she she wasn't gonna be able to get that kind of shit. 
You know what I'm saying? And they just sat in there and just fucking hid. I'm going to send that to you. Send that to me. Those of you at home, probably not Spotify. I'll put the audio in anyway. You'll hear the audio. But if you want to see it in all of its glory, and this man being smoother than this drink right here. Better watch it on than YouTube. YouTube.com. It's not forward slash. It's just a bunch of numbers right now. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Five o'clock reboot on YouTube. Go check it out. Oh, yeah. It's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I hope that, that one day I, I have that magic moment. Oh, you will. You will, dude. Trust me. Doubtful, man. I'm a turbo virgin. Look at me. Turbo virgin. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, there was another thing that I forgot to include in the list of news. You're pregnant. Okay, there's two things I forgot to include. <laughs> and, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I played my first, uh, bar gig. Like, my That's first right. gig. Yeah. I mean, like, it wasn't my name up none of there. I was, I was backing a buddy up. Right? Uh, which I'm tickled pink for. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, this kid has got some pipes. Some pipes. Like, uh, he does a couple Elvis songs, right? He does a It's Alright Mama. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Like, once he leans into it, dude, you can feel him feeling this song. And, uh, like, it, it was just so surreal. Like, the place wasn't, like, jam-packed, but being up there on that stage, like, with that guitar, like, hearing it, like, hearing everything going on, you know, like, him just feeling it, like, that helped me feel it, dude. I was fucking feeling it out on that damn thing, and just everybody grooving, you know, and having a good time. That, that is what I aim to do, like, with some of my shit. Not even kidding. That's big. It was, it was massive, bro. Like, I got to do a few solo numbers in there. That was pretty cool. You know, like, he would go and talk to his family for a minute or go and talk or go to the bathroom. And uh, I'd do a couple songs and shit. It was, it was awesome. And the, like, and this guy that I'm doing it with, uh, his, his name's Hayden. Uh, he, like, such a genuine person. One of the most genuine people I've ever met. You know what I'm saying? Like, he'll tell you how it is, but, like, he'll take care of you. You know what I mean? Like, we were playing there for a minute, and he was like, hey, do, you know, do you want to do, do a couple, you know, like, yours? Like, do you want to play some? And I'll, like, I'll chill out. And I was like, nah, that's good for now, you know? And, like, every now and then he'd be like, here, you take over. And, like, I would do, like, two or three songs, like, at a time and just jam. Like, <sighs> Like that, it's not very often that you're like that you'll find another performer who's like, yeah, man, we're in this together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, obviously there's you, you know, like you're. No, I get the spotlight. <laughs> Fuck you, Alex. I get the. Sp <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, you've worked in the industry and like you know how rare that is. It's very rare. Because like, nine out of ten people that we meet in this industry are snakes. They, they want it all for themselves. Like, just shit bags of human beings. And are and that, that's unfortunately so common because you get you get people who just get it in their heads that they're God's gift to the world. And they're, don't get me wrong, like, even with people who have amazing voices and can sing the choir's tune, they're not, they're not all that in a box of biscuits. My phone keeps going off. Why am I popular now? Because you're so fucking sexy. No, my phone has been dead all day. But the second I do a live stream, you know what? Who is it? It's two separate people. Who are you? Who are you? You're not even. Who are you? The kazoo kid. No, it's someone adding me to subscribe to their fucking OnlyFans. Hell yeah, bro. I don't want... What, oh, God, there's another... No! No! 
God, it's a public PSA. I am not gonna fucking buy your OnlyFans or your premium snap. I'm not gonna hook up with you for fucks. I'm a broke man. I spent the money that I got for my incentive to fix my car. There's also way too much porn for free. Ex Thank you. And and like, there's always those people who who work in that industry that's just like, yeah, but that's like toxic. Like, no, it's free. It is offered to the public. Why would I pay? And this is not be this is not to discredit any of those people who work in that industry. But why would I pay money to just see you, uh, whenever I could see whoever I want for free? Yeah, like. Here's what would happen, right? If I were to, or number one, whenever, like, whenever I would watch porn and, you know, do the job that goes along with it, like, it's a solid two minutes of watching the video and then, like, five minutes of regret and, like, 30 seconds of cleaning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that is what goes on. It would bump me up to a solid 10 minutes of regret because I would be like, there's money that I just fucking spent for that like two minute diddle sesh and don't get me wrong like there there are some gorgeous people oh yeah for sure and i'm not and i'm not trying to tell you like to not do it you know like if if you have found that person online that you're like ah yes i am willing i want to see their butthole i want to see their bungalow and I'm willing to pay money to do that. Good on you. That's good on you. If you've got the money to do it, fucking chase your bliss. Fucking jack your pepper. Fucking, no, sorry, hold on. Peter Piper, your pecker. I mean, fuck. Double click your mouth. Whatever you want to do when you look at this person. Peter Piper, your pecker. I meant to say pepper, and I actually fucked that up. That is the first time I've ever fucked up that tongue twister. But anyway, chase your bliss. This house is a fucking nightmare. It's just not me. I'm not going to pay for porn. I'm not going to pay for porn. I'm not going to do it. No. No. Fucking ridiculous. But yeah, no. I, I It agitates me because like, first off, nine times out of ten, these are bots who are adding me. Um, Someone in my friends list probably has people who are or bots in their thing that goes to their friends list. Um, I, I also have my, my, my Snapchat posted on social media. So that's obviously also where they'd be getting it from I'm about to just take it off of there. That's annoying. I don't care. Like good on you for chasing your dreams and obtaining a, a wealth of currency. That is going to be something that is self-sufficient, but people would pay me to put my clothes back on. Same. I don't want to pay to see you take yours off. I'm sorry. Exactly. With respect, because like I said, because first off, that that takes a lot, a lot of a lot of guts and and just your ability to try to find the right word so that I don't sound like an asshole. Your ability to have the confidence to do something like that, because yeah. I would not have the confidence for that. First off, no one wants to see this. Second off. Got a two inch thunder thimble, buddy. You ain't gonna look at much. <laughs> ain't a whole lot to look at. But like, and and like, I get what you're saying. We're not like neither one of us are trying to downplay your work. All we are saying is we ain't got the extra cash to subscribe to that kind of shit. I pay for the internet. I'm gonna use the internet. Exactly. I'm already. Pa I'm already paying. For, yeah like I'm not gonna pay extra to see this one set of titties when there are countless countless other sources you know what I'm saying you wanna know what I used to use a long time ago mm. fucking google images bro <laughs> Like, I remember using Google images whenever I was a kid like back whenever I was like oh I hear that Pornhub gives you fucking viruses on your computer you know what doesn't images 
you know, gifts. Oh my god! And it gifts. is gifts, not gifs. I will fight that till the day I die. Gif like peanut butter. Gif is peanut butter. They they tried to change it to gif because of referencing to the peanut butter. Uh, I don't care. It is gif. The G stands for graphics. Therefore, it is gif. I don't care what the official creator of the gif calls it. It is gif. It's it, it's 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 not like Fanta and Fanta, okay? Because Fanta is Fanta. There's a whole thing. I've already covered this a thousand times. It's Fanta Fanta. Don't you want to? Not Fanta Fanta. Don't you want to? GIF is GIF. It just makes sense because it's graphics. Yeah, like if if that would be like like we don't call it fucking IBS. Like people say IBS, but like we don't call it. IBS, even though it starts with irritable. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just change the phoneme. Is that the, yeah, phoneme, the sound. Like, you can't just change the sound you're using because I like it better. You know what I'm saying? It is GIF. It was created as GIF. It will die as GIF. I will fight you to the grave. I will fight you one on one. It is GIF. Not GIF. GIF's a peanut butter and it tastes fantastic, especially the chunky kind. But you <laughs> will know this as the day that I will fight to the death. That it is GIF. Every day of my life, it will be GIF. Purr it. Purr it. Purr it? Purr it. Here we go. Period. Purred. The burps from the drink and the shot itself were actually surprisingly pleasant. Very pleasant. Like, I'm... Hmm. Delicious. Delicious. Delectable. Simply. Euphoric. Speaking of delectable and simply euphoric, um... I've been watching uh, DBZ, and uh, like I know I'm way behind the fucking times. I understand. I know I'm trying to watch it to see what all the big hubbub was about. And, like, I'm not picking it back up. <laughs> I'm yes. discovered. I'm in the Boo Saga. Ooh. And you can fight me. Like, come catch me in the comments. I've not seen Super. I've just seen straight up Dragon Ball. And Dragon Ball Z up to the point that I have as far as that universe. Or those universes. Either way. Um, there's a fight that is currently going on for me that is one of the coolest fights in that whole show. Right? Now, the show's been out for a very long time. Spoiler alert, if you... You know, our fucking. If you haven't it. seen it, get fucked. If you haven't seen it, get fucked. I'm gonna talk about it, but I'm just letting you know I'm about to fucking talk about it. Because the Boo fight's been out for years. Well, I haven't seen. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah, DBZ has been out for years, but this isn't them fighting Majin Boo. This is like Boo just got awoken for me. Ah, I'm talking about when. Cell. Not Cell. Cell? What the fuck? Sorry. Oh my god. When Vegeta basically sells himself over to uh, to Bobbity. Like, to like throw off the inhibitions who's like, you know, whenever he's like, you know what, I need that extra little oomph to say fuck my family. You know what I'm saying? Because like he desires to be that evil dude so bad. Um... Vegeta and Goku's fight because you know a lot of like a lot of the fights in that show like they're trying to show like it's like it's very fat that looked like I'm fucking gonna but like they're fighting so fast you know and that's what they're trying to show but like they'll show like the same little three things you'll see the knee you'll see the hook you'll see a jab and like they're both like blocking and dodging at the same thing but you'll see that knee hook jab like over and over but they'll just flash that really fast but when they start showing like the shit that's happening like in depth which is something that they haven't done in a while yeah like watching that shit happen i was like absolutely like i am still hooked in this fight because it's not just a bunch of little flashes and them going back and forth 
I mean, don't, granted, that does happen sometimes, but like, they're showing the shit happen, and it is one of the coolest fights I've seen thus far. So, my favorite fight scenes are from Fire Force. I'm not really? sure if you've seen that yet. I plan to watch it, but go it ahead and talk about it. Like, don't good. worry. I'm not going to give any spoilers for it, um, but for the fight scenes, <clears throat> crispy. It's, it's, it's kind of basic in the fighting styles, but it is juicy. The sounds that they use, this the the the, the uh, choreography that they put for it is just juicy the whole way through. I need to watch. I need to watch more anime. I'm just trying to get caught up on this right now. Um, there's there's some killer fucking fights out there. Oh yeah. Um, like I said, I've been showing uh, I've been showing Joseph Rising of the Shield Hero. Now that's a show that's not as heavy, like as intensive with the fights. But you're not watching that show for the fights. You know what I'm saying? You're watching it for fucking story. The story is phenomenal. The, it's absolutely insane. It, it it's so I've talked about this. I don't know if I ever talked about it here. I may have. Um, but I can basically guess the plot point of just about every single show along with video games. Uh, it is, it's called the falling of the hero, right? The, the great fall. So like in Assassin's Creed, it's every single time something major happens. So with Ezio in each three games, uh, first one, when his family dies, second one, when his uh, family dies again. Yes. Yeah. So like the, the, the big things that happen that puts him back to square one. For Naofumi, it was no different. I kind of called it, right? Gets betrayed by one of his party members because she's she's a little she's a witch, she's a she's known as bitch. Um, that was like easy, and then he worked his way back up, which was awesome. Uh, I don't care that I know the plot point before it happens. It's the journey in between, and that that anime has a fantastic story, for real. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I was, like, I was, whenever I first watched it, I could kind of see it a little bit coming, because she was like, why don't you drink? And he's like, I don't do that shit. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. But usually, like, with the fall of the hero, like, it's an event, and then, like, everyone's like, come on, man, you got this. That is not the case in this yeah, show. Yeah, everyone hated him. Everyone, like, hates him for a very long time. They're like, fuck you, dude. You and he know? embraces that he, shit. Yeah. Like, he he goes from having the potential to be, like, the all-around good fucking superhero guy, if he wanted, to being an anti-hero. And he does time. good on his own terms. Yeah, he does. Like, and I love that because, like, it, it's just so, like, it makes it feel like a real person. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, he does have his ideals that he's, you know, is very strong towards. Everybody has their ideals. But the fact that they're just uh, the fact that it's different than, like, a Superman type person. Yeah. You know, like it, it's straight up one of those stories that it, it's a feel good story because you 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 see him falsely accused of something. And that's that's shitty. But then he's like, you know what? Cool. Yeah. I did all those things. Fuck you. Yeah, he's like, you know what? Fuck it. You want to hate me? Hate me. And he literally undoes all the problems that the other heroes have created. Literally. Like, and then chastises him for it. Oh my yep. God. That was one of my favorite fucking scenes. He's like, you fucking killed a dragon. And guess what? It poisoned the water supply. You're a fucking idiot. It caused poison. Just no, didn't poison the water supply. It was like it poisoned the air, and they couldn't do anything about it. You gave people an undesirable fruit that grows infinitely. Yes, but the problem with that is it created a fucking monster. Yeah, like he literally went to a place, and there was a sign, like there was a fucking carving that said, "Yeah, don't touch this shit. Don't plant this don't, shit. Don't fuck with this." Right. And then uh, the other guy, like, they were like, there's been rumors, like, he's very mysterious, which I love that little, like, air about, like, this other hero. Um, they're like, they say that he went to another country and fought 
uh, like fought the government to overthrow a tyrannical government. But like he went and they were like, he was like, man, he's like, what's going on? Didn't like shit turn out for the better? They were like, yeah, turns out the people who were trying to overthrow the government are actually worse than the people who, you know, were running the place in the first place. So we're fucked. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, all right, uh, here's some, some here's some supplies. Uh, eat some food. Uh, fuck that guy. Am I right? They're like, yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Get it for real. He's like, listen, fuck these other guys. I'm going to help you out. Like, but just don't mention it. Yeah, it's not, it's not even that I'm going to help you out. It's the fucking, here you go. Now, here's what it's going to cost you. And they're like, but we don't have anything to pay. He's like, okay, you will pay me pay one me. way or another. <laughs> yep. Like, you'll pay me either today in money or goods, or you can pay me another day. But you are going you will to pay me. pay me. Like, it's the fact that, like, he had, like, he was going through and doing, like, these underhanded tactics. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever, like, with everything. Because he was like, you know what? The rest of the world fucking hates me. Why should I play by their rules? You know? Like, yeah, you're going to hate me. So what? You know what? Fuck you. Fucking hero for hire. Oh, my God. Such a good one. <sighs> it's, one of, it's one of my favorite animes right now. I'm going to end up spoiling this whole thing if we keep talking about it. Yeah. Y'all need good. to watch. That's the first season. Rising Second season's already out. It's your fucking fault if you haven't seen it. I'm, it's my fault if you spoil it and because I, I haven't seen it yet either. Dude, I need to... I need to watch the second season. I'm still working my way through the first. Again. A, again. I've seen... Such a good series. I've seen the entirety of the first season. When, it's so good. Whenever I heard... Whenever I heard that they were making another season... Or that another season was going to be released, I immediately dropped what I was doing and started rubbing one out. I'm not kidding. Like, I was in fucking Food City and someone was like, Hey, you know, like they were talking to somebody else. Like... I heard a passing by conversation. Yes, yeah, Rising the Shield Heroes coming out with another season. I dropped Alfredo, spilled, like, broke the jar and just started just fucking jacking Wrapping it one out. as hard as I could. And uh, <laughs> I didn't finish in the Alfredo because then they would have been able to prove it was me via DNA. But, you know. So I finished the, in the Prego. Finished in the Prego. Um, I'll be honest. Now, now I'm feeling pretty decent. I'm not actually feeling that anymore as much. Feeling what? Well, do you want another? We could do for another. We'll, you. we'll crank one out before we before we give our final judgment. I got you. I'll, I'll mix you one. I may mix myself one with like a half a shot because I'm not trying to get like turnt like I used to. You got a fiance to go home to. Well, here's the thing, bro. It's not. It's not even that. It's after last week's episode when I didn't get shit faced. I felt. I felt like this was like more of a, like, I felt like I was able to provide more, number one, constructive judgment for the drink. And number two, I was able to provide so much better commentary. Than when I think I'm that's what we need to do now is I just need to drink more than you, get zonked out and be like, yeah, bro, this shit crazy. Dude, that was, that's what I've been the entirety of this show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, by the end of it, I'd be fucking. And then those multiple occasions where I'm just like. Man. Yeah. It will happen. It will happen. Watch this. I say this and next week I'm going to be fucking. <laughs> and pull the blinds off the, off the windows. I'm going to be like that kid from the wild thornberries. Fucking. <laughs> the look that Spencer just gave was just priceless. That <laughs> You better not touch my fucking blinds, boy. That's not the blinds. That's the. Those are expensive. I'm not going to touch your blinds, man. Don't worry. Yeah. He ripped a fat one in front of us all.
Orc E. Plier. I gotta I forgot to open my game this day. Damn it. I missed a day. Shit. I probably missed several days of this game. I play Konosuba a lot uh, on my on my phone. It's my recent addiction that's been going on for several months. I'm actually probably one of the first people who started playing it, and I'm still a low level because I don't put money into the game. You also have the job to do that, though. I don't. Now, I don't want to say, like, that I haven't put money like that into games. But, like, for phone games, I don't often indulge in that manner. I do. I haven't I played, played games game on my phone, like, legitimately in a very long, long time. time. There, was, there a was a game I used to play. It was called, like, called Terra, Terra something. something. Terra, Terra Battle. Battle. Oh, my oh God, my God dude. dude. That, that game, game was, was sick. sick. I was, I was a spotlight, spotlight operator, operator. and uh, my, my partner, partner and I, and I like, like in the in middle of the show, show because, because like we got, we got so, so used, used to the cues and stuff, stuff. Like, like we would we get, get it started, started and we would like be like, following, following, but like, like we'd be following, following out of one eye, eye, eye and then out of the other eye we would be fucking playing this game on our phone, like while the show was going on and nobody ever had any clue. Did you unmute your mic? Yes, I did unmute Oh, I just did that for nothing. Oof. No, you're good, bro. But I never really paid. Wow. What kind of car game is that? Ooh. Rag racing. Yes. Let's crank these boys out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens. I only poured about a half a shot on mine. So. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just hitting my bonuses real quick and then I'll be done with that. Ugh. Boogie. Holy oh. Lord. That's my height. Bang of height. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be hanging out here for a minute. It's a good day. You can hang out with me while I Last week's episode. Thank you, sir. Now, the reason uh, the reason I say that is because this shit's a little. I don't know why, but this is hitting me strong. It did with the first shot. After that, I'm kind of like mellow. Yeah, dude. I I drank a lot the other day. A lot more. Like it wasn't a lot at one time, but it was just a lot spaced out over the day. So, so I actually. I've been drinking the, because you got a sour mix for the Assassin's Creed. I've actually been drinking my Amaretto, making it Amaretto sour. Wait, you, you made, you made the hidden one sour? I did. Is, I made, I made the hidden one sour and I've been making the uh, Amaretto sours. I am so touched. <laughs> it is very rare that one of my creations survives past this show. It's so, it was <laughs> so damn good. <laughs> Oh. The only thing is that burping is not a pleasurable experience anymore. Well, it's it's kind of odd for me. Like, in the beginning, I got the apple, but now I'm just getting what I ate a little while ago. So, I had some sort of sushi roll from Kroger. I want sushi, man. Dude, I sushi. want sushi so bad. Sushi slapped so hard. There was a place in Pigeon Forge that closed down, and a guy got killed on site. It was whenever they were tearing it down. There was a place called Kinkaku. Oof. They had decently priced sushi. Like, you could go just for sushi and get, like, a handful of rolls and spend what you would normally spend at a restaurant. Like, I went with uh, my uh, my girlfriend at the time. Your what? Oh, I was going to say. At my girlfriend at the time. My, fian my now fiance. I went with her, and we got a fuck ton of sushi. got full and spent, like, 20 maybe $25. God, I could so I could totally go for a samurai roll from Little Tokyo right now, dude. I want I want some sushi. Oh God, I could use some of that right now. 
But anyway, um, Kroger don't fuck around with their sushi. Did they really? No, dude. I used to think good. it was like bad sushi. Do what? I used to think it was like bad sushi. No, nah, bro. Kroger sushi is, well, I'll tell you, it's a hell of a lot better than Food City sushi. Uh, there, there were actually sometimes on a word to the tomb that I would actually walk on my break to the Kroger that was nearby, buy like two rolls, like two rolls, and spend like eleven dollars, and come back, and eat them. And yes, for those of you who are wondering, I use chopsticks. I know I may not sound like the kind of feller that would utilize those kind of utensils. Do you want to know something crazy? You don't use chopsticks, do you? Culturally, if you're eating sushi, you don't use chopsticks. Really? So like nigiri and stuff like that, you'd use your your hands to eat the sushi. Then today, I ate it correctly because I used my hands. Yeah. There's some sushis that you'll eat with that, but there's, there are some that you'll eat with chopsticks. But like nigiri and stuff like that, you just... Now, which which ones do you use chopsticks with? Uh, I know that for the samurai roll you do because it's rolled and fried. Um, I don't really remember the specifics on it at this current point in time. Uh, as I am now realizing that I lied to you earlier. And this is definitely hitting with a second wave. Yeah, yeah, that that drink that you just had is hitting you. Excellent. <sighs> so good too. It's actually surprisingly good. There's what a reason it's gonna taste like a Dr Pepper. Ooh. There's a reason why this is one of my favorite like moonshine flavors. It's actually really good because like you can tell that it's not a flavored drink. Yeah. Like you can tell that it is a moonshine. It is a moonshine with flavoring in it. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's actual, like there is actual rye. Like, there's rye notes there's to rye it. rye distillate in this. Yeah. Like legit, like fucking measure out the grain, cook it, fertile, like fer- fertilize. Ferment. Fertile. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fertilize it. <laughs> You just have a bunch of distillers just standing over just... Dude, did you know that if you leave, like, if you fucking leave, like, old mash out, that, like, your grain will grow in it? Grain will grow. <laughs> Back when I used to work at uh, a warehouse, like, we would have, uh, like, the old mash. And <clears throat> that's what I love about, like, locally owned places, because, like, usually they, like, know other people, like, locally. And they'll source stuff out and, like, work together with the other local people. Like, we had, like, there were farms. Like, and we would, like, they would come and pick up our old mash and they would use it as slop for the livestock. Like, it was so sick, dude. Because, like, we weren't just dumping it into a hole or, like, being like, oh, burn it, get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was going to use to help other things in the, like, locally. That, I just love that shit. I need to find out. What our distillery does with our mash. But anyway, like, there was some that was sitting out a little longer than we should have. And there was fucking rye growing. Like, that's pretty sick. Dude, it's dope as hell. I love the process of making alcohol. Like, like learning about that shit, it was so interesting to me. And being on the back end was amazing because like I'd, I'd helped in production sometimes like I I I did a little bit of I did a little bit of everything behind the scenes when I was there and I'm not going to disclose any like secrets or anything no like ratios or anything like tell that tell us your secrets Wilson tell us never the numbers Wilson what do they mean actually weights of grain but <laughs> <laughs> dear dog you heard it here first folks no, dude, that was actually really fun. That was one of my favorite things to do was to, like, help out, like, help the truck driver and stuff. Because, like, we had these big old totes, right? And we would dump the grain into these totes. We had, like, a, like corn totes, rye totes, like, all this other stuff. Um, and they'd be like, we need this mash, like, this mash bill. And, like, I would go and set it on the scale and tear it out and stuff. And, like, and I would, like get my forklift and I would hoist up the tote above the empty tote that was going to be the mash bill and I'd be like okay I need X amount of pounds of corn and I would just like 
throw the gate and watch. And then whenever it'd get close, I would like measure it out. Dude, like I was getting so good that I would get it within like a pound. Those are rookie numbers. You should be getting it right every time. Wilson. Have you have you ever tried to fucking like catch that much grain like I'm with good a, at with I'm good at door? guesstimating. I can guesstimate what why do I have a message? Why did you turn it on? Also the scale would like take a minute. Like, cause you would do that and then you would shut it and it would climb another like 50, 60 pounds. If you didn't like, then you'd have to like do this little number, you know, but it was a blast, man. Um, anyone who's ever curious about these processes, I highly recommend trying to find a, uh, a manufacturer. And if you're just curious, try to see if you can get on like, like, they'll teach you a lot. I'm telling you, bro, it's 80 fucking proof. We've almost drank a half a bottle. Hey, look, now you got a message. Uh, wow. It's crazy. It's crazy how good this drink is. It's like Christopher walking. No, more like Christopher running and getting zooted. Naked. It's crazy. I can't believe I'm feeling this like this. Feeling pretty good. I feel like I could fight a bear. I'd lose, but man, would I give that bear something to think about later? Something serious to think about. And then I would die because it's a bear. I can't fight a bear yet. Not yet. I don't have the muscles to fight a bear. Ooh. You know, that's something that a lot of, like, a lot of people don't think about. Like, animals and how strong they, like, legitimately are. Hundreds of pounds of force. You know that Mike Tyson once offered a zookeeper, I think it was, like, either ten or $15,000 to let him into a gorilla exhibit because there was a gorilla that was bullying another gorilla in the exhibit. And he offered that zookeeper thousands of dollars to, uh, quote, unquote, uh, teach that gorilla a lesson to smash that silverback snot box. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, actually. The offer was declined, obviously. Oh, man. Dude, these animals are so fucking strong. Oh, well, yeah. Like, but, dude, just, just think about it. Think about it for a second. How much would you pay, bottom dollar, how much would you pay to see Mike Tyson fight a fucking gorilla? You'd be paying a lot of money to see Mike Tyson get Fucked. But how much money would you pay to at least see that? To witness Mike Tyson, one of the greatest fighters of all time, fight a fucking gorilla? Okay, that would be a very interesting... Th we think it would be very interesting. I think it would be over quickly. But man, the, the amount of money I would pay to see him fight a silverback <laughs> gorilla. Mmm. Damn, dude. Like, it just amazes me. Like, animals have so many different, like, tactics and strengths and shit like that. Did you know that kangaroos, fun fact, now that we're talking about animals, you know that kangaroos, like, if they're, like, if they feel threatened and stuff, they'll go to a body of water and, and they'll sit there and they'll watch. Like, they'll and watch the thing that was, like, water. threatening them. And what they'll do is as soon as you come into range, they will fucking grab you and drown you. And they don't give a fuck. They will hold you till the kicking stops. Yeah. <sighs> Get oh. it kicking, kangaroo. Reminded me of uh, a film that we actually just released as well. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't play a big part in it, which wasn't that big of a deal because it was um, it was it was for a film festival. I don't think we won anything. Otherwise, we would have heard something about it. But we did a film festival uh, competition. And I'll be honest, I didn't get to go to the event. I should have gone, but I had to work. But I can almost guarantee that my brother should have won that competition. He put a lot of work into it. And I can guarantee that if they uh, if they knew like the process behind it, buddy. Oh, yeah. He would have got it. Well, your brother produces quality. Quality. quality and he does it all by himself like dude 
the fact that he doesn't win every single competition that he does blows my mind because he does everything by himself. Yeah. Like he likes to give the actors credit and stuff like that, but we're we're just we're just portraying a character. Yeah. He goes in and does the VFX. He does the sounds. He does the music composing, finding the right music for the for the tone and the attitude of the scene. He does it. He does all of it. And then everyone else is just like, we got a team of people. Fuck you. He does it by himself. Yeah. Fuck you, motherfucker. You should have won. I don't know if we won or not, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get a message. So I'm pretty sure that means we didn't win. But I digress. Fuck him. Every competition, he should win, hands down. 100%. He does everything by himself. I don't care if you're if you're a team of 15, 20, 30, oh, 40 people. I don't care. <sighs> I don't care if you're a team of three people. He's a team of one. Works his ass off. Does everything that he needs to do to get the job done. Boy loses sleep over this. That dude needs to be winning every single competition for the sheer dedication alone. Because my God, 100%. does this man work? Hundred percent. Working on a new film. We we haven't ironed out all the details yet, but we're um, working on a new film. That's exciting. Very. Oh yes. Now, speaking <sighs> very exciting things. I want to know about what time, uh, what time on the clock do you think that uh, Mark and Digger's Rye Apple? Well, uh, good line. Mark and Digger, my boy Digger. Not gonna lie, pretty quality product you've been producing. I'd like to firmly shake you by the hand for a man who despises rye little known fact I despise rye I hate it that doesn't surprise me it's usually a harsh liquor does not go well with me wasn't a great taste for a shot but was not undesirable for a shot for me I thought that it's something I could drink straight if I really want to get from point A to point B. I could drink that straight. Not have that, not as bad of an issue. But if I'm honest here, putting it in a Coke, very desirable. 100%. Like I would ask for this. So a five would be me being too generous. But the harshness of the burn was a little, it, it crawled a little bit. It didn't, didn't linger, but the, the flavor kind of, I don't know, this is a conundrum. Because on one hand, like the burn was not the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, no, like the flavor definitely took my mind away from the feeling. It, it pulled my attention. Like, and now that being said, for a moonshine. For a moonshine, for a, a moonshine. rye moonshine, which I don't, I don't know. I enjoyed it, and it was a rye. So I think that a five would be earned. I'm not gonna try to sway your mind here. I know what I'm giving it. I think a five is earned. Oh my god, I am so happy right now. Because, like I said, it, it's it's a rye. I don't do rye. Not only do I not do a rye, but the fact that the flavor pulled my attention away from the fact that my stomach was like, what the fuck is this? That that speaks in, in more volumes than one of like how good it actually is by itself. Now, mixing it with a Coke, just drink it like it's a Coke. Yeah. And it has like that hint of, of apple in it in the aftertaste, like just finishing my cup. Where the fuck? Go ahead. Tell me where that alcohol taste is because I can't find it. But I am feeling it. So I think that a five is a very fair 
and just judgment on my behalf. Now, Alex, where? <clears throat> Does Mark and Digger's rye apple moonshine sit for you on the clock? Well, I think you will not be surprised. Um, for me, this drink has been a favorite for a couple years now. Uh, I've I've drank this on ice, like sipping it. Uh, I've shot it. I've mixed. I've mixed it. I've done everything with this drink, other than butt chug it. I'm not gonna butt chug it uh, yet. No. At fifty thousand subs. More like you send me fifty thousand. No. You send me a hundred thousand dollars. I will butt chug a shot. A shot. I thought this was the five o'clock reboot, not the five o'clock puss boot. We'll pour three shots into a funnel. And I'll three shot. Them. Boy, you better be taking half that bottle. That is a hundred. Half boy, that better, bottle. Oh, you better be taking half that bottle. Uh, that's. Death. I'll take the other half. Death. Death. I will that take is the other death. half. I will take the other half. We'll take the other half. Two hundred. Okay, two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand dollars. We'll both Two hundred thousand dollars. We will collectively butt chug this bottle. Swear to God, if somebody sends us two hundred thousand dollars ever in this life for this, they're going to be sorely mistaken. That is your very own handshake here on the five o'clock reboot. Sober me will have to deal with that whenever the bridge comes. We'll cross it. Yeah, sober us will have to deal with it in like thirty years when this show actually blows up. You know what I'm saying? We'll be like, we'll be like, 50, we'll be like fifty years old. And we're fifty years old. We're like, oh fuck, oh shit, we got a bunch of the. Uh, they don't sell it anymore and you're just like I've got my stash right here dude I'm gonna get a stash of this stuff if I ever catch wind that they're like hey yeah that flavor's going under this flavor's never gonna go under but like if they ever like start saying shit like that to me I'm gonna buy so much of this all of it <laughs> but anyway anyway this on the clock for me lies at a very solid, very solid. Five o'clock. I o'clock. like. I I may be biased, but fuck, I love this drink so much. Um, they they killed it. They killed it with this. They really did. And then those butt chugs are gonna kill us. They would, yes. Now, Derek, I have to ask you. I know that we didn't drink as much as we usually do on this show. We've been keeping it rain kind of in oh but what where what are you <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing uh, I'll be honest <sighs> I'm in an orchard picking the fresh apples oh absolutely Munching on a couple of them because you know, you don't get a break, you just eat on the job. But it's it's a cool fall evening, not too cool, but the breeze brings a chill down your bones. And fucking hear the breeze, you're getting goosebumps, but then you realize something. Alex, a shrinkage is happening. No. The wind blows across my bare skin and my schmeckel from the cold retracts. Thunder thimble has gone inside. The thunder thimble has turned inside out. My Audi has become an innie. Mm. I wrestle with it to try to get it to save its life, to bring it back out. And it looks at me and it says... Father, I don't feel so good. And it disappears. Ladies and gentlemen, I am zooted but naked in the best way possible. Because that breeze was nice. The only thing it cost me 
was my schmeckle. Not your schmeckle. No, Alex. Yep. What are you wearing? Um. I. I'm standing atop one of the lower peaks mountains. It is a little chilly, a little chilly, but as I stand atop this near precipice and I gaze around to the other mountain tops, to the valleys below. I notice that there are many trees, many shades, many colors. Seeing the orange, the yellow, the brown, the evergreens near the top, here and there. This beautiful work of art that is laid before me in a 360 view. And I stand here. Dirt between my toes. Observing. The gorgeous. The beauty. Of everything. It seems a painting does it seems a work of art it's a work of art that no man no man could truly depict the glory and I'm standing here holding my nutsack in my hand because that's my most vulnerable and comfortable position and I think to myself ah yes this is why I'm here. This is why I've climbed this mountain. Only to strip mine clothes off. To become one with this beautiful nature. I too, kind sir. Am zooted but naked. Yes. I can feel it. The zoot and the butt and the naked. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, gals, non-binary pals, this was another installment of the 5 o'clock reboot. We set your week off right. Hopefully, as perfect as our week has officially started, what I want from you guys is to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, Tell us what to do. Yeah, talk with us. Be our producers. Please. <laughs> Running out of ideas. Please. Um, make sure you guys check everything out in the description down below. For those of you guys on Spotify, you can check those in the description as well. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, guys, gals, non-binary pals, we'll catch you in the next week. Bye. Bye. Uh, uh.